Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarland here bringing you another Never Winter video. Uh, today we're going to be taking on another solo challenge. Uh, we're going to be doing the Shores of Tehran. As you can see, I am the only one in the instance as usual. Uh, and we're already about a minute in. Uh, so I'm going to try to take this slow. Uh, I could run to the end of each area, but I think I'm just going to try to take it slow. It's going to be hard for me to uh, generate stacks per se if I pull everything at once if that makes sense so I'm just gonna take it slow uh, and we'll see how fast I can get through it I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with shores uh, I seem to be fine doing castles so I mean shores isn't any harder than castles uh, to be honest uh, the last boss might be a little tricky but I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to take it on. So, we are going to be doing a commentary as we go through this, of course. I know during the duo challenge that I uh, didn't do a commentary. And some people seem to like it and some people kind of want in the commentary. Uh, but I think for the solo ones, we're going to uh, just do a commentary. Talk, talk it out, guys. We're going to talk it out. But... I haven't slept in a while. I'm pretty tired. I'm going to try to focus. This giant doesn't want to die. So, we'll see how fast this takes. I'm saying at least 10 minutes, probably. This stuff doesn't hit me too terribly hard, to be honest. Uh, Especially when I generate my stacks of negation, this stuff can barely even touch me. But that's why I didn't want to pull them all at once just for that reason alone, is I won't be able to generate my stacks fast enough. But these things do have a good deal of HP. Well, I mean... Uh, the Giants do. Like I said, the boss the boss fight might be a little tricky. I don't know. Or it'll be interesting to see. Uh, the boss does have some mechanics that will be able to one-shot me. Uh, so I'm going to have to be on point. I'm going to have to be paying attention. Uh, hopefully my life still decides to proc a little more than what it's procking right now. Uh, I do have like 60%, 66% life still, but that's not always guaranteed. Uh, and uh, I do have, I think, one one scroll uh, of life left in case I do die. I didn't buy any more, uh, so we're going to see what happens. Uh, as you can see, I am using Blades just for the more AoE instead of Warlock's Bargain or Hadar's Grasp. Uh, we're going to see how the first boss battle goes. If I die, we may switch out. But the boss does have two adds with him, so we're going to try to burn everything as fast as possible. Will be the ultimate goal. But, okay, we basically finished phase one. We'll zone into here. I'll finish this middle phase, and I'll move on to the last groups of trash mobs. Oh, good gracious, man. That's one of my pet peeves in this game, is this guy right here that casts his snow or whatever. It's so annoying. Oh, and I died. Wow. Alright, let's release. I'm gonna have to use my, uh... Gonna have to use Tyrannical on those. I thought I could kill them faster than they would spawn. I have to complete three ambush phases right there. It's all right. So there's one death, no big deal.
Dude, this guy is so annoying, dude. His stuns are so annoying. Oh, I'm gonna die again, probably. I'm gonna try to kite these guys. I, my life still does not want to cooperate. this archer down first okay all right now we're on the last guy here see once I get my stacks of negation up they really don't hit me that hard but it's all about that uh, early early start. I haven't even popped any potions to be honest. I didn't even think about popping potions, but let's pop a few potions here. Move on to the last groups of trash mobs and then we're gonna try to take on the boss. I didn't think I was gonna have any difficulties with uh, with the trash mobs, but yeah that little mini event or whatever definitely definitely did some work to me there. This guy's freaking immune. There we go. Alright, last group here. Man, those just got destroyed. Alright, let's move on to the boss. We're gonna wait a minute. Till my artifact replenishes here. And this boss battle, yeah, it's probably going to be a little more difficult than I thought. Let's take a look here. We're at 30 more, 34 million damage. And we're coming up on 9 minutes, which is basically 8 minutes. Because I was in here about a minute before I started. So, I think the goal of this boss battle is, is that we might have to destroy the ads before we start worrying about the boss overall. Uh, this is this is definitely gonna be interesting, so we're gonna give it a whirl. And I do believe that they're gonna start attacking me soon as I spawn in here, unfortunately. Good old Garakis. But yeah, he does have the uh, Imperial Rage Rakes with him. Okay, they're not gonna attack me right off the bat, so that's good. And his AoEs are nasty. If I get caught in those AoEs, I am so dead. Yep, his AOE already hit me. I'm already one shot. Oh, there it is. Wow. That hit me like a truck. I don't even know how hard that hit me. I didn't see. This is this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be a difficult fight. This might take me a little longer than I anticipated. Uh, let's see here. Let's try to go with healing. I don't think the healing is going to matter. Yeah, this is definitely going to be... Definitely going to be hard. I might not complete this. Uh, Kessels might actually indeed be easier. I'm dead. Ooh, I don't know how I got out of that. Dude, he hits so hard. Oh, uh, see now, come on now. You clearly, you guys clearly saw I evaded that. I was not, 
was not in the red at all. Wasn't in the red in the slightest, and it still hit me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't think I can tank him. I don't think I can get my negation stacks up uh, quick enough. Maybe let's try focusing on the boss himself. Uh, I wonder if he's considered a dragon type. Let's pop one of these just to... Why not? We'll pop one of those. I don't think he's considered a dragon type, though. Alright, so yeah, this isn't going very well. I'm going to end up posting this video, whether it's a completed or felled, uh, just so you guys can see that, you know, it's pretty difficult. Uh, I've mentioned in my Kessels video that, uh, you know, great weapon fighters and uh, trapper rangers usually don't have a problem. Usually the great weapon fighters can just go in there and they have such, such high determination that they can keep their invulnerability up almost all the time. That's how great weapon fighters can solo, and the trapper can usually just root things. Uh, so we're going to try a different strategy here. Maybe. Yep, this strategy is not going to work. Wow, dude, this, yeah, this guy is definitely hard. Good gracious. I really thought I would be able to breeze through this. That is not the case, guys. Hmm. I wonder how hard he's actually hitting me. I can't see just his damage, unfortunately. Yeah, I've taken 2.7 million already. We're going to wait until my artifact replenishes. We're gonna try. We're gonna try a few more attempts uh, and see how it goes. But yeah, I don't think this is gonna be possible. I don't think I'm. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my negation stacks up enough off the bat to mitigate the damage. All right. Well, let's see here. We have 30 seconds. I thought we were going to do this in about 10 minutes. Well, we're about 12 minutes coming up on 13 minutes. And I don't think we're going to be able to complete this. That's, which is interesting. Uh, like I said, I guess Kessels is a lot easier. Uh, it's a different style of events. Uh, you guys watching get to see, you know, the events. You can go back and watch the Kessels video and sort of compare. Which also brings to light, I wonder... How Lost Mouth is going to go. Uh, I plan on trying to do Lost Mouth Friday. Alright. Let's give this a whirl. I mean, if anything, I could buy a whole shit ton of Scroll of Lice and just keep reviving until I eventually kill it. But, I mean, that's... That's not really fun either, you know? No one's going to want to watch that. That's not... That's kind of cheating in a way. Well, this is definitely farther than we've gotten so far, so... I'm actually slowly getting my negation stacks up. I don't know if he respawns those ads or not, to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure. Usually I do this in like three minutes with a group, so I'm not sure if he does spawn those. Well, we got him below 50.
I really don't want a chance getting too close to him, to be honest. Like, I would like to jump in there and start hitting him with uh, Blades of the Vanquished, but I don't think I could get close to him, to be honest. Even with full negation stacks right now, I don't think I'll be able to. Well, looks like we are going to complete this, guys. There it is. Souls of Turan. Turan. Torino. Complete. Look at this guy. Uh, I lost count of how many times I did die. I did die to trash mobs once. was was inexcusable. Uh, the boss battle was actually pretty hard. Uh, I was able to complete it, though, so I'm satisfied with that. Let's take a look here. Uh, I did 63 million overall. I took 3.4. So I died a four, four times total. So I died three to the boss once to trash mobs. Uh, I only died in Kessels once overall. Uh, so this this was definitely more challenging. This dungeon is definitely more challenging than Kessels uh, as far as the boss battle goes. Uh, and there's a whole lot of nothingness in here. And it looks like nothing in there. We ain't going to take that one. But there it is, guys. You guys uh, want to leave some feedback? Leave me some comments. Uh, make fun of me if you want. <laughs> Say, oh, Gar, you are mortal. <laughs> hey, but in the end, I did complete it. So Shores of Tehran is now complete. We'll see you guys in the next video.